Russia has informed India that it will deliver the last two squadrons of S-400 system by 2026. The Russian side was expected to deliver all the systems by 2024, but had to change plans due to its own requirements in the ongoing conflict. Assam Police's Special Task Force has arrested the ISIS India chief and one of his associates, after they illegally entered Assam from the neighboring Bangladesh. The Indian Army has inducted an initial lot of seven new indigenous integrated drone detection and interdiction systems along the northern borders with China, which has both soft kill and laser-based hard kill mechanism. The Indian Air Force has requested Solar Industries to develop a 1,000 kg bomb for Su-30 and Mirage 2000 aircraft, and its destructive potential would be similar to the American Mark 84. After China protested to Sri Lanka for allowing a German survey vessel to dock at its port, Sri Lanka has now allowed foreign offshore research ships for replenishments at its ports. Ministry of Defense has released a request for information for the procurement of aerial observation system that will facilitate an aerial view of the battlefield and give suitable target grid corrections on the fall of shot. The UP police will place a 3.66 crore rupees order for 432 treaty assault rifles from Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. The Aeronautical Development Agency is working to complete the critical design review for all TED-BF systems by early 2025, and even if the CCS clearance is granted by early 2026, the first TED-BF aircraft will roll out in 2030. The original target of first flight was 2026, which is likely to be pushed back to late 2030. The DRDO has issued tenders for the Mach 5 Plus long-distance hypersonic cruise missile, seeking to develop multi-component oxidation-resistant coatings for refractory alloys used in the construction of hypersonic missiles. These coatings will enable the alloys to withstand high temperatures of over 1100 degrees Celsius in atmospheric conditions. According to media reports, the initial AMCA Mark I aircraft are expected to be priced around $108 million per unit, that will drop to $60 million for later production models, and it will use locally produced F-414 engine from 2027 onwards. The AMCA Mark II will feature a new indigenous 120 kN engine, that might see a price increase initially, but costs will stabilize as production scales up. Indian Army's Paris Special Forces are evaluating the Israeli Arad rifle to replace the current M4 rifles, that can be manufactured at the Indo-Israeli joint venture Adani PLR systems. The Arad can seamlessly switch between the standard 5.56x45mm NATO ammunition and the 7.62x35mm round, offering greater flexibility for various combat scenarios. The indigenous 1,500 horsepower prototype engine for main battle tanks developed by Bharat Earth Movers Limited was test fired successfully yesterday. 20 such engines will be manufactured with 90% level of indigenization during the next one year to undergo further trials and their integration into the Arjun Mark 1A tanks for user testing, and the project is slated for completion by mid-2025. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.